Good morning. Thank you for coming by to see another one of my vlog. I hope you are well and happy wherever in the world you are. <laughs> Today, I wanted to sit down and talk a little bit about my experience at the llama farm where I was volunteering for the last three weeks. It's been now about one week since I got back from the farm and I'm slowly getting used to the life back home in the city. I'm actually surprised that I got so used to the farm life so fast. <laughs> I mean, I remember the first few days it was quite hard on me to adapt because the work is mainly physical. And compared to the lifestyle I had right before, I was not really doing much physical activities or exercises. I was mainly staying at home, I mean, because of quarantine. So I was basically like a squid and <laughs> then I was at the farm working. As the days passed, I got into the daily routine and I began to feel more and more comfortable. Um, to talk a little bit about my days, my days were always filled with works to do. I chatted a lot with my colleagues and there was so much nature and animals around that I just genuinely loved being there. Especially, it made me so happy to be with the animals. They are such wonderful creatures and are so, so therapeutic somehow. <laughs> what I noticed in the farm was that the more I was there, the less worries I had. And I was really just living the moment and I enjoyed it. I think now that I'm back to my normal life, let's say, I should really continue to be more like that. Um, because before, I think I had a lot of thoughts and worries and I agonized a lot about my future, just about everything. But then, when I was at the farm, in the nature, being with the animals, it's interesting how every big worries I had became so, so small and almost non-existent. The family that owned the farm and hosted me was so welcoming and kind. They were very, very hardworking people and I was so impressed by the extent of the work they do to keep the farm running. And yet they were so lively and always in a good mood. I had lunch and dinner with them every day and the food was on point, really. Um, they cook mainly German dishes and it has inspired me to eat more German cuisine here and the last few days I've been cooking some German dishes like the other day I made some asparagus with potatoes and ham and tried to make hollandaise sauce which failed but that was still really really good um anyway where was I? <laughs> It was great to be with the German family and get to know their way of life because it's so completely different from my own life. And it was also great that I got to practice my German. My schedules varied day to day, but I always began working at 8 in the morning. I got into the habit of waking up early, eating something before the work start because otherwise I'd be so hungry. Because the work is physical, mainly cleaning animal poops and yeah, so you have to eat something, otherwise you will be starving. And we would usually have lunch at 12 or 1 in the afternoon and then work again and repeat the next day. So there was always a pattern and routine on how the days go and now I feel more motivated to continue taking a part of that life back home by living more structured and I guess being more focused on doing what I do at each moment. Um, so since I'm back, I've been trying to stick to the simple routines of working, eating well and making sure to go out for walks or some exercise in my leg. I would go for a bike riding as well along the river. I definitely feel more motivated to be productive and to get things done 
because when I think about the people at the farm, they were doing so much in a day. It's really impressive. <laughs> and it made me compare myself and how much I get things done and still complain a lot. So <laughs> that was such an inspiration. So I've been using the Pomodoro method for being more productive. And I think it has really helped me because usually it's quite hard for me to get into the concentration mode and bring my attention together when I start working at my desk. I mean, once I actually start, then I'm fully into it. But uh, this would be usually after like an hour of web surfing and just uh, watching videos and then I would get into the work. Um, I always felt somehow somewhat guilty about the time that I'm killing in the morning but with this method when the countdown starts my mind and body just sets to the work mode and then I get some things done it's really great <laughs> I'm not sure if this method will continue to work on me but currently it's it's doing well anyway I'm so grateful that I was able to live this wholesome life at the farm, even for only a few weeks. Somehow I feel very refreshed after this experience. I definitely learned a lot and I feel like I also got to know a little better about myself. Thank you.